Hi, I'm Nat Kunis. I'm the product line manager for GoToAssist Express, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use GoToAssist Express to help out some of your clients. So first thing I'm going to do is go to express.gotoassist.com. As you can see, uh, there's a place for you to log in there. I'm going to type in my login. Once I hit login, there's a home page that you'll be presented with, which has a download and start button. What you're going to do is just click on that download and start button. It will immediately download GoToSys Express, um, install it, and load up a session for you. As you can see, once the session is all loaded up, uh, there's three different ways that you can get uh, into a session with your customer. Uh, the first way is to direct them to www.fastsupport.com and then give them the nine digit code that's on the screen. The second way is to uh, hit the copy support URL button. What that allows you to do is copy the URL um, into either uh, text, IM, chat, any of those ways uh, to get it to your customer. They click that link, it downloads and gets them into a session immediately. The third and final way is email support info. When you click that, it opens up an Outlook email with that URL already embedded in the email. And when you send that to your customer, they click the URL and just like the other three ways, they're in a session immediately with you. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first way, I'm going to direct my customer to fastsupport.com and give them the support key. Now as you can see, I'm actually uh, remotely controlling her computer. Uh, at this point, you also have uh, access to all of our other features um, that come with GoToSys Express. One is a file transfer, enables you to send files to the computer or receive files back from the computer. Uh, the next one is remote diagnostics. What that allows you to do is see all kinds of valuable information on that destination computer, such as uh, computer hard drive space, um, what processes are running, what applications are running, all kinds of great information that you can use to diagnose a problem. Uh, the next one is chat. Uh, as you can see, it enables you to chat back and forth with your customer um, so you don't have to be on the phone the entire time. Uh, and the la last one, or second to last one I should say, is notes. As you can see from that, um, it enables you to type in notes about the session such as I performed a virus scan or anything along those lines that will help you go back when you look at your reports and remember exactly what you did during that session. And then the final uh, menu is the tools menu. Uh, what that enables you to do is actually use our drawing tools which uh, you can do highlighter um, or pointer or arrow stamps um, to show your customer exactly what you're doing. You can also send a control delete um, if you need to log someone off or do anything along those lines. And then you have uh, reboot uh, and reboot reconnect in safe mode. What those allow you to do is actually re reboot your com uh, customer's computer which then allows you to connect back in without them having to be there it's a, or connect back into a new session with you. It definitely saves a lot of time. And, and with the safe mode option, uh, it's really great for virus scans or spyware. Um, and then the final option, as you can see, is set up unattended support. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on that now. Um, what that enables me to do is connect to that computer at um, a point in time where the customer may not be there, let's say after hours or on the weekends. Um, when I click that, it requests permission from that, um, from that user. As you can see, an authenticate dialog box just popped up. This is just asking me for my uh, same credentials that I typed in on the website initially. I click Next, um, and then it asks me to create a nickname. Um, nickname can be anything that you want uh, to help you remember that computer, like Office 3 or John Smith's computer. So I'm going to go ahead and type one in right now. Now I create an access code. What the access code enables uh, you to do is create an additional le level of security around that computer. So you may have an access code that's specific to that computer so that if somebody, for some reason, uh, got your credentials to your account, they still wouldn't be able to connect to those unattended machines without this additional layer of security. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of those now. Now it's going to verify the access code. And as you can see, it says success. So unattended support has been successfully set up. So now I'm going to show you exactly what that means. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this session and end it. And now I'm no longer actually connected to that PC. Um, now I'm going to actually go back in and connect to that computer without anybody being on the other end. I don't have to give them a nine digit key. I don't have to do anything along those lines. I just go right up to the session button, click on view unattended support computers. 
Now, as you can see in the list, there's uh, two different computers I have set up. The one I just set up, I named Office 3. Um, as you can see, it comes with a status of, of what's going on with it. It says in use is uh, because someone has been recently uh, using the keyboard and mouse on it. There's a big connect button right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and click that to connect back in. Now, as you can see, there's an access code um, dialog box, and this is the same access code that I just explained to you that we created. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. It's verifying the access code. And as you can see, I'm back into a screen sharing session with them with uh, full access to, to control their PC again. And uh, one last thing I wanted to show you is the fact that you can actually have multiple sessions open at once. So as you can see, I can create a new session just by clicking on the uh, sessions button in new session. And you can see it just added an, an additional thumbnail. I can have up to eight simultaneous sessions, unattended and attended both. Um, eight is the total number. So that's really great if you have a long virus scan or something like that going on one computer while you want to help out another customer. And with that, this concludes the demo. I want to thank you for your time, and great luck using our product.